Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reacting to hamster products. So let's get right into this video. Mm -hmm. hamster cages and toys like some I'm just gonna be like trash that and then some are like okay um this is just my personal opinion but um you will see me reacting to the critter trails and if you do have one um I would recommend upgrading your cage because critter trails are very small um so yeah um, but this is just my opinion on hamster cages. Um, this is just a disclaimer. I don't want anyone to get upset if you have any of this stuff in this video or like any of the stuff that I'm like do away with. Um, but I just don't want you guys to get upset. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this video. This is the KT Critter Trail cage, and this is an awful cage. It comes out to about 220 square inches of floor space, and the bare minimum for a hamster is 450 square inches, um, which is still pretty small. And these cages, you can't fit like a proper sized wheel, like my Night Angel wheel is basically as large as this cage. Um, they have these pans that can fit like about an inch depth of bedding and you're supposed to have like six inches of bedding and then we have all these tubes and like hamsters can get stuck in these especially Syrian hamsters like they're just not good and basically you're paying for a piece piece of plastic like they're 72 dollars the next toy we have are these um hamster toys and they're colorful um i towards I lean toward the natural stuff, but these are completely fine toys. Next, we have this um, guinea pig playpen, and your hamster can crawl right out of this. It has, like, rabbit. It says it's for rabbits, guinea pigs, all that stuff. Your hamster can actually crawl out of this, so I wouldn't recommend it. Thank you guys so, yeah. so much for watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.